this is where my life belongs. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking on reports in Microsoft Access. Now we have done quite a few videos in Microsoft Access and if it is that you did not for some reason or the other view those videos and list those in the iCard. Please check those out. Alright, so here we have two reports that we're going to create in our database that we have created already. So our first report says to list the appliances, models, serial number and prices of all the appliances that have not been sold. All right. And it says that we are also to create a report that lists the customers who have bought appliances and we need to group it on appliances and sort it on customer name. All right. So let's head over to Microsoft Access. All right, so here we are in Microsoft Access, right where we left it off the last time. We had created three objects in Access. We have created tables, queries, and forms. And today we are creating reports. Now, reports is basically a summary of your data. So let's get into the request. So list all the appliances. So let's come over here now into the appliance table. So it wants us to list the appliances, the model, the serial number, and the prices, right, of all the appliances that um, have not yet been sold. So for us to use or create this form I'm going to create a query with all these fields so that I can get the option here which is only to list those items that have not been sold let's get into that so we're going to go back to create and we're going to query design and we're going to select the appliance table and we're going to list all the fields that we previously spoke about All right, so right here underneath sold, we're going to select no because that's what we want. And we're going to run that. So that's what we have. So let me save this as report. So this is not a report. And I'm going to save this as query report because that's what I want to use in the report. All right, let's close these tables. So here again we're going to go back to create and we're this time we're going to so we have been at tables we went to forms then we went to queries now we are at forms so what we're going to do now is that we're going to select report wizard let's get the wizard to help us so here now you want to select the table or query that you want to use to create your report and because I created a query I'm going to look for that query. So here it says query report <laughs> and I'm going to select that. Same arrows here apply and because it is that I want to use all the fields I'm going to select the double arrow. Now it didn't say that we need to group the information or anything so for the report, the only thing you're going to do is select next, next, unless they ask you for certain summary, which I'm going to go through nonetheless. So here, it asks what it is that you want to group the data by, which means the headings that you want. And I'm going to select appliances for that. All right, then I'm going to select next. Here, how is it that you want to sort your data and what it is that you want to sort it by? And I'm going to sort it by price in ascending order um, sometimes I ask you for summary data so I'm going to go here where it says summary option and once you have a field that has the data type number or currency it will appear here so if you get a task and it asks you to do a calculation or a summary on it in 
the report section and when you get here it's, it does not appear here it means that your data type is incorrect for that field hint hint all right so i want to have the sum um for the prices and i'm going to select okay after you have done that you're going to select next and reports are very easy it's just next 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 <laughs> and you select the layout that you want so you have stepped you have block and you have um, outline i'm going to select stepped um you have the orientation so when it is that you have um multiple fields a lot of fields that you want to display it's best to change it to landscape instead of portrait but, but because i'm not using a lot all right i'm going to select landscape just the same and then select next and here you want to give your report a name so i'm going to name this appliances otherwise it's going to take the same name as the table that you used or the query all right so let us now select finish so here we have our report right and if you noticed here if you notice here that like the information are a bit jumbled I, I want to see more of a separation between price and model number so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on the name of the report here and I'm going to go into design view so here you will see the field names at the page header and you can just space them out just click on the edge of it and use your arrow and you can move it across i'm just using the arrows on my keyboard you can also use your mouse pad especially if it is that you have the fields appearing and you're seeing a lot of number sign it means that the field size is too small for the fee, um for the data that it is holding and you need to expand it so let me move over these all right so after it is that you have moved around your data in the header page header um you want to ensure that your information lines up so here where it says appliance that lines up item price it's all the way over here so i'm going to move it and ensure that it is in line with the header section that i have model is fine let me move over this checkbox here underneath sold and move over my serial number and that applies there all right same thing here this is my summary data that i had selected just in case you see a number sign or a lot of number sign appearing as i said it means that your field size is too small all right so let us save this and then open it back all right so or Appliance table is now, or appliance report is now complete. So we have two stoves, the item price, the model number, the serial number, and the fact that they are not sold. All right, moving on to the second report. So we're going to go back to create. All right, here it says to create a report of all the customers who have bought appliances. And we want to group it by appliances so let's open our client records it means that we're going to use the data from both tables now to create our report because it you are going to take the clients and the appliances right all right so here it says you want the list of all the customers who have bought appliances and group on customer name. So again, I'm now going to create a second query. So I'm going to go to query design and in this case now I'm going to select both tables. Alright. So here you see the relationship and if this doesn't come up it means that you're going to have problem which with your data as it's going to replicate. Alright so i want the appliances i want all the customers so i'm going to need the customer name um who have bought appliances 
and we're going to select the client ID from the client's record because this would have blank ones and it's only it's going to match the data nonetheless so let us run that all right so let us save this now as client all right all right so over now to our create ribbon again and we are going to go back to report wizard again here we have our query already so we're going to select our double arrow we're going to select finish now it says that we are to group In this part we're going to skip so it says that we are to group it by appliances and then sort by client name welcome my neighbor dogs all right so let us use block no next and name this client report all right so there we have it i had to change the layout view because it wasn't showing the grouping um well, here we are now with our client report so it is showing the items and who purchased them and their client id number all right thanks for watching if this video was informative kindly subscribe don't forget to like comment and share